Hello everybody, I'm back from my vacation and yeah, yesterday was my last pre-recorded video prior to the vacation and I've been thinking hard how shall I continue this trend and first off I'm sorry I'm not sure I will be able to keep up the two videos per day schedule at least for now but um, I have a few things in the pipeline but they are a little bit more of work so let's go ahead and look at a few more of my shirts uh, until I get something going and since we stopped yesterday with the Bundesliga videos um, and I don't have German shirts but I have some Austrian shirts and I've been talking about my favorite team Lusk for a while so I thought maybe let's look at a couple of shirts from my favorite team and I want to look at the first two shirts that I ever got and the first one we'll look in this video which I think was worn from the 1996, 97 and the 97, 98 season and those are the seasons that I most fondly remember. First of all this was you know end of my school years, uh, my fandom being at its highest especially since I finally could afford going to games uh, and seeing a lot of them and yeah they, it was also good that they were a really classic kit at that moment. It's so classic that still to these days um, fans refer to those kits as the ones at least around my age group that those were the most iconic kits. I'm talking about the Reebok kits from 96 to 98 with the classic black and white stripes. Just a single sponsor back then. Uh, we had a new logo uh, with the old logo in here, uh, a modified version. I have to pull it out maybe at some other time uh, to show you the old logo. But this basically was the look for Lask and I still refer to this as the classic Lask look. Um, just the width of the stripes is perfect. Um, that the sponsor fits with the color scheme is perfect. This one of course doesn't have any numbers. Uh, also the style with the collar who actually quite nicely cuts off the uh, white stripes here. Yeah, um, unfortunately this is only the replica version um, which has two quirks. First of all it's a very very thin material, I'm not sure if you see it but it's almost see-through uh, with no ventilation at all. This was after I bought this in 97. This is my, I want to say fourth or fifth ever shirt that I had. Uh, it said that for my favorite team it's not the first but uh, replica jerseys in the early 90s were not that common especially for your favorite uh, team in Austria. Uh, I know you could get the Adidas shirts that they were in 94 but they were not sold uh, properly. Uh, I remember them seeing in an obscure uh, fan store in Vienna the away jersey which was all red at the time, red with a little, a little bit of white. I still would like to have this one of course, I want to have all of these. Uh, but yeah, the new logo was kind of a weird uh, thing, a, a big point of discussion because we had kind of only a flag type of thing logo and then we came this big corporate logo. This was kind of a time when we were forced to fuse with our league rivals uh, who played in blue, it never was a fusion, it was basically uh, everyone in the city agreed there should only be one team and we swallowed them up and we kept the colors but therefore LASK which stands for Linzer Athletic Sport Club uh, so Linz Athletic Sport Club or Linz, Linz Athletic Sport Club um, so the L stands already for Linz and then they added the Linz down here as to kind of emphasize we're from Linz and we ran actually on the name for quite a while Lusk Linz which is uh, superfluous. Everyone calls it just Lusk and that's how the team is known in my town. It's also the classic sponsor from the time. Spitz is a fruit juice company that our uh, previous president I think or no, our vice president used to own. Uh, it's I'm not sure if it's well known outside of Central Europe, I think Austria, Czech Republic and so on. But yeah, uh, it actually means pointy, uh, which I always liked. And it, although it's not a uh, color, it fits quite well. And also the red outline. Now, there are two things that I think could have been better and that the player version actually had. This is a little bit too far out. The players wear it on the black 
stripe. This was something that um, at the time did not bother me, but once I figured out, it started, of course, bothering me. And seemingly the and same thing about the Reebok logo, which could go here. The players actually wore it here in the center because we had the league logo here. Um, those are just the two quirks. Uh, and of course, that the sleeves are just black. If those were also striped, then this would be a 10 star, 11 star jersey for me. This is a 10 star jersey. I have a post on my blog about it. I, I love this jersey. It is old, I agree. Also, if you can see, it has kind of these shadow pattern R in there. Yeah, here you can make it out a little bit. Just the classic Lusk look. Every jersey of Lusk is judged against this one. Especially when they went then with unicolored jerseys for a little while. But these are the perfect stripes. Um, the classic stripes. Even the first uniforms, and I have some replica of these that I will show later, had a similar type of striping. Well, I'm not sure how many of you have heard of my team Lask before, but I thought I need to get it in. Uh, since we're neighbors, uh, you know, we talked about the German Bundesliga. And also that this was the first season when these were born, uh, worn. We played in the Intertoto Cup and we played against Werder Bremen in the away jersey that I will show in the next video, which we actually won in Bremen, which is the biggest European triumph that I can remember. Well, let me know what you think about this jersey. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.